Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. 2868. Because now you gotta get up out of there. Because, because you know why? You know why? I'm gonna tell you why. Guess what? We haven't reconquered that land yet. You're not gonna take back the land of Israel asking nicely. You're not gonna if somebody broke into your house, kicked you out of your house, changed the lock. You think say, hey, excuse me, sir, uh, can I please have my house back? You think that's gonna get your house back? You think that's gonna get your house back? No, it's not. Read what it says. Deuteronomy 28, 68. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So you are over here in the land of bondage and captivity and slavery. How did you get over here? By ships. Watch this. Read. By the way whereof I spake unto thee. Just like the Lord said it was going to happen, it happened. Your proof is right there. Read a history book, you will see we came over here on cargo slave ships. Read. Thou shalt see it no more again. See what? No more again. What won't we see again? The land of Israel, our true homeland. Ah, we won't right. see it until we conquer it. Until the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians, which are the Israelites, until we return back to the laws of God. Until we do that, and when and the day we do that, Christ is going to come back, and he's going to fight for us, and we're going to take back the land of Israel by force. Not by asking nicely, not by joining to them, not by getting some kind of Israeli citizenship. No, that's not how it's going to go. Bring it up. You can, somebody can't break into your house, rob you from the house, and you ask nicely, can you sleep in the basement? That's not how it's going to go. Bring it up. Just like how that house is yours, and you will be a man if you take the house back, we are the children of God, and we will take back the land of Israel when Christ comes and helps us do it. Alright, understand that. Now, we are going to deal with the elephant in the room. Brother, don't go nowhere, because I want you to hear this too. What is today? Brothers out here want to celebrate 4th of July. 4th of July. Walking around here with red, white, and blue on. Walking around here, brother, like right there, it says, land of the free, home of the brave. Who is free? We are not free. Let me get Baruch 3 and 8. Because the black man in America has the delusion, the false thought, to think that he is free here in America. Bring it out! He thinks that he is free. But the Bible and society and everything we've known shows you are still a slave here. That's right. Because now, only if you are free, how can they shoot you down in the street like an animal and walk away and walk away with nothing? Bring it out! Because we are not free here. Read what the Bible says. The book of Baruch, chapter 3, verse 8. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. Behold, look and see. We are yet this day in our captivity. We are still in the land that we was brought here as slaves. Hey, y'all across the street, you are still a slave here in America. Do not celebrate 4th of July. In 1776, you are still on the China plantation. You are still a slave. 1776, you are not free. This is the nation who enslaved you. Their day is 1776. Their Independence Day is 4th of July. Your Independence Day has not yet happened. Why? Because you are still in the land that you have been kidnapped to. You are still here in the land that you have been stolen to. To this day, look around. You are still in America, still in Babylon. Read. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity where thou hast scattered us for a reproach and a curse. So, again, we are still in the land of Babylon. That is, that is the perfect question. How do you repent? Let me get 1 Kings chapter 8, verse 46. That's a perfect question. Out of all the time we've been here, you had the real question. You had the question that will benefit you the most. Let me show you what it says. Read. 
book of 1 Kings, chapter 8, verse 46. If they sin against thee, for there is no man that sinneth not, and thou be angry with them, and deliver them to the enemy, so that they carry them away captive unto the land of the enemy far or near. Stop. We all sin against the Most High, right? We all sin against the Most High. We all sin against the Lord. We all fell short. We are not living the life that the Bible commands us to do, right? Bring it up. We first got to acknowledge that, which you just did. You just did that. You literally applied step one. And we have to do it right here in the land where we was carried captive to. Because we are here because it's the judgment of God. The conditions we live in, it's not normal, sister. The life that we're living, it's not normal. And you were able to see that. Let me show you something but right before we go there. Because I'm going to show you something real quick. Real quick. Go to, uh, go to Ezekiel 9 and, 3, 9 and 4. Because what you just did, you just fulfilled this scripture. That's why we're going to deal with you until, until we're done. Ezekiel chapter 9 verse 4. This is what's going to happen. Ezekiel chapter, the book of Ezekiel chapter 9 verse 4. You know, because hold on, you see it's something wrong with the way you live in and how life is and the murders and all that foolishness, right? Watch this. Ezekiel chapter 9 verse 4. And the Lord said unto him, go through the midst of the city. Stop. We go on through the midst of the city. We out here in every corner in Chicago. We searching, we searching. What are we searching for? Read. Through the midst of Jerusalem and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. So you see all the foolishness and all the chaos and all the killings and all the sin and all the abominations. Men dressing like women, women dressed like men, baby daddies, baby mamas, the killings, the black on black crime, all the chaos is happening. And you said enough is enough. You sighed at it. You know it's wrong, right? And it says settle, it says do what? Go through the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. Isaiah 8 and 16. Now what is the mark that we're going to set on your forehead? What is, the, what is the mark? What is the seal that is about to be put in your mind right now? Let's see. The book of Isaiah chapter 8 and 16. The book of Isaiah chapter 8 verse 16. Bind up the testimony. Seal the law of my disciple. So the gist of all the change and the, the all the change that you want to see happen, the quickest way to that change is the application of God's law. That's, That's right. right. Bring it out. You see it's something wrong in the city. You see it's something wrong with the life that we're living. And guess what? The only way we can change is the application of God's laws. So I'm going to finish on the first thing, chapter 8. Let me go back to that. Verse 47. Yet if they shall bethink themselves. Meaning remember who you are. If you bethink yourself, that means you remember who you are. Now, this is over that, that sign right now where it shows your nationality before slavery. Before they called you black, African-American, cool, the Negro, and nigga. Before they put these by words on you. Because guess what? They've been calling us that so long, we, we started to believe it. We even put African-American down in our job and our application for work. So guess what? It says when we think ourselves, remember who we are. So from this day forward, you are no longer black or African-American. You are an Israelite, according to the Bible. That's step one. Remember who you are. You are a daughter of God. You understand? This nation told you something that you was, that you was much less than that. But guess what? You are starting to remember who you are. Even if you ever saw the movie The Lion King, remember Simba? Was eating the pigs and, and, and uh, um, the little, little, little uh, what's it, um, those, the hyenas and all that, eating bugs. But he was a lion, he was meant to rule. And you remember when he saw that vision of his father, and he remembered who he was. What did he do? He went back to rule because that was his natural state. And he left the low conditions he was in. So now, you are starting to remember who you are. You are the literal, not metaphorical, not all, you are the literal. Daughter of God. You understand? That's not just a good saying we're saying. That's not just something that sounds good. Like you have children. They are literally your children, right? They just they're not some kids who found like I'm gonna just take them in. They came from you, right? Well the husband, the man the, the man you laid down with they, they see when you they came forth. You literally came from God. You understand? So you are his literal child. So you're remembering who you are.
Ah, let's move on, read. Yet, if they shall bethink themselves in the land whither they were carried captives. So hold on, it says you gotta bethink yourself in the land you was led captive. We are still here. You remember this, that this happened? Slavery, right? Was it 1619? We were brought here on cargo slave ships. Do you ever believe him? No. Your, your, your ancestors, your, your great great grandmother, a great great grandfather, and your great great grandfather and mother, then your great great grandfather, your great grandfather, then your grandfather, then your father, then you. You still here in the land you was carried captive to, it is stolen to. You understand? Wait. You are not free. That's right. So, you 
not being free, why are our people celebrating 4th of July? What you gonna do today? What am I gonna do today? Uh -huh. I'm gonna take my day off. I'm gonna work on myself. Okay, okay. But guess what? The majority of our people are doing what? Fireworks. Fireworks. Celebrate their oppression. Okay. Celebrate their captivity. Celebrate their enslavement. You know what I'm saying? That doesn't make sense. Now, how do you get that? How you say it? Financial prosperity and all that. Jo jo Joshua wanted it. Independence. independence. It is a way. I'm gonna show you though. I'm gonna show you there is a way. So number one. It, what it's going to say? It's a self-explanatory. Joshua 1 and 8. The book of Joshua, chapter 1, verse 8. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth. So stop. It's going to show you. What is the book of the law? Hold this up real quick. Hold it up in the air. The Bible is the records and history of your God and your ancestors and the relationship between the Most High and His people. That's this is right. the book of the law. Read. But thou shalt meditate therein day and night that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. So step one, read it and meditate on it and apply your life to it based on what it's saying. Right, meditate on it there and day in and day out, right? And what's gonna happen when you do that, read. For then, at that time, thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. Do you understand now the reason we are in the conditions we are in? We are not applying the laws of God. You went to school, right? You know history. In history, we were ruling other nations. We were in a position of rulership and power. Well, how did we fall from kings to slaves? What is that missing element? What is that missing piece of puzzle? Our nationality, God's laws, and repentance. We forgot who we were, and we sinned against our almighty God, which is our power. And because of that, we fell, and we allowed the other nations to rule over us. So how do we go back from slaves to kings? Returning back to the very power that had us ruling in the first place. That's you know what I'm saying? You understand this? I understand we got time to Hey, look, power to you. guess what? Repent or die because oh, destruction is coming hey, to America. That Bible? Because, because, oh, come, 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 on come on back. Come on back. Come on back. Come on back. I got you. I understand what you're well, trying to do. Well, guess what, though? Guess what? No. Continue trying you. your way and you will die here because you want to see it yourself with these people. So yes. Right. And we're going to finish teaching the laws. Because we ain't going to waste our time with people who just want to play games. Because the brother just says the issue is life. And said, Exactly. And say that again in the mic. Read it. Say it again. Sister said, we parted from the word of God, and that kept our generation going down, down, and down. That's right. That is 1,000% facts. So now, showing you that the application of God's laws is what's going to raise us back up, up, up. I'm going to show you some God's, I'm showing you some laws, okay? Let me finish First Kings. Yeah, let me finish First Kings. Thank you, Amy. Yeah. Yeah. Verse 48, and so return unto thee with all their heart and with all their soul in the land of their enemies, which led them away captive and pray unto thee toward their land. Right? Whatever the Bible says, you do it. And your life will continuously, like a ladder, get better and better and better. Right. And we would love to show you more. But if you look on the back of the fly, it's our number. And we would basically be able to do a one-on-one -on -one with you and go through go through all the scriptures with you and apply it. There's a lot of sisters at the school your age, and older and younger. And they can all help you. Hey, all y'all come as a family. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, Nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana. Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. 
the scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.